Talking, thank you for the 10 man. Love to see you as well from you. I saw the happy birthday, Melvin. I saw it. And happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. So today we're finishing. Well, we're going to do start Lost Alone Part 2. Now, if... Wait. If you missed Part 1, wasn't scary. Didn't scare me at all. Not one bit of it. None of it. Did a chat. So part one involved a dad or an uncle or some shit looking after a kid. Jump scares everywhere. Not one of them scared me. Not one. So today we're going to play part two. Different story. Hopefully this one is equally as unscary. Unscary. <laughs> so the Sunday streams, if it is your first time attending a Sunday stream, is a gaming stream. We game horror games. And we're currently playing a game called Lost Alone. And, um, yeah. Not scary. Now, I think 
I started to play part two a couple of years ago when the game came out, but it crashed. There was a thing on the corridor that chased you, and the game wouldn't work after that point. Didn't scare me. Did anyone see me jump once? I don't think they did. I right, so we'll do the participants in just a second. But Charles King, thank you for the ten months. I appreciate you. All right, let's do the participants, and then we'll um we'll start with the game. Today we have a Wakefield Antoinette Ashley Nissa. Israel Hades, Bad to the Bone Paranormal, Birmingham, Alabama's Most Interesting, Bucky 1961, Chess Doodle, Chucky 1982, Craig Adams, Christina Lapino, CRL, Darren McLean, Dr. Deb, Giselle Labont, Hedy. If you're a real doctor, you may not want to watch this. You'll be worried about my heart. Jay Renwick, Janice Crammond, Jeannie Larson, Jeff Bridges 2, Jenny Mann, Jolene, 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 Jolene. Karen Hawkins, Katie W., Kitty Etheridge, Lula Moon. Uh, Simon, thank you for the three months. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Chelsea Doodle, thank you for gifting a membership. Thank you so, so much. And you gifted Michelle Van der Meer. Meer. Something like that. Magical, mystical, Kitty Orbs. Matthew, Melvin Nyman. Michelle Van der Meer. You just got gifted. Mike, James, Mike, Larry, Monique, D, Nancy, Philip Chandler, Raven, Sequoia, Shelley Williams, Simon Stevens, Sky Talker, Spans, Stacey Munoz, Stacey Smart, Stu Farrell, Sunblast, Super JJ, Susan Lawton, Three Spires, Paranormal, Hashtag, Locks for Lee, Tom Pifari, Tuppy Bash, and The World of Mr. Grey. Good evening, Dandalf. Good evening. Good afternoon. What time are we? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Afternoon, Dandalf the Great. Metalhead UK, how are you doing? Dawn Marie. Give me the su give me the eye. <laughs> how is everyone doing? Right, if you missed part one, you'll have to go back and watch it because I'm never ever playing that again. Because it wasn't scary. Uh Daria Oza, hello, how are you doing? Mike James, thank you for the gifted. Tuppy Bash, well, thank you for the two-month membership. I've lost my game. I've lost my game. There it is. Why are you opening up there? Open there. Right. It's fixed it. Mike James, thank you. Tuppy Bash, thank you. Thank you for the reoccurring members. Thank you for the gifted members. I appreciate it. I don't get to catch many lives through the week, and I'm not giving the luck. Dawn, have you softened since you've got engaged? My clips say different. What clips? I ain't seen nothing. Dean gave me a gift yesterday. <laughs> Dean gave me a beard or hat. <laughs> what the heck? It's my hat. Boom. Get on to the show your feet. That'll make you jump. Yeah. Feet. Doing good, thanks. Post a link to Ghostwatch on Discord if anyone hasn't seen it, wants to rewatch. Ghostwatch, brilliant. I love Ghostwatch. So guys, after the first part, fair warning, they may be triggering things in this. Alcohol, drugs, um, unaliving oneself, things of that nature. Horror games tend to be pretty dark. Hey Rocky, how are we doing? Shelly Williams. You just told me about feet. Uh. Evie Vonk's crib, how are you doing? You've never seen this game before. Part one scared the shit out of me, Dan. And um, it's quite difficult as well. So on to part two, which is a different story. Right. I don't know why it's part two. It's a different story. I love how you debunk the still belief. Yeah, I don't de debunk or disprove the paranormal. I disprove bullshit videos. Only way I can be. Beardo, I've never seen this one either. You're on your own. Oh. You know I need help with these games. Jump scare central first part was. Maybe the second one's a bit easier. I just crashed. Hello? Hello? Aha, it was just loading. Such lovely pictures. Wait, is this the same house or a different house? 
Same house. Hey. Wait, have I got to leave again? I've got to leave part one and restart part two. Stepping into that strange room, everything became clear to me. Anyone watch my I was hit by a wave of missing didn't. memories. The absent pieces of my mind's puzzle began to resurface, completing the image that until Let's then... Skip that because we've already done it. I can't remember how I started. How do I start part two? I forgot this one. Mr. Grey, that's the lolly. Yeah, uh, listen, the game's music makes you feel like it's all nice and stuff. And, oh. Beto, do you have your depends on for this game? I've got a pen and paper because some of the puzzles. <laughs> Can we have to play this game like the look of it already? Mr. Grey is terrifying. I don't know what part two is like. Because I played it when it first came out before the Ultimate Edition and it broke. I got stuck in the top corridor. It wouldn't load. I am here. Can't chat watching the game. No worries, Jenny, man. Why is this taking so long to load? If you guys were in Hanzo last was week, a I'll simple person. A simple person in love with life and with Yoko. He would do anything for his beloved. The love for Yoko was as great as the woman's repulsion towards Kanzo. But the man didn't want to give up. So we're going to Japan for the next one. Yoko, tired of Kanzo's persistence, decided to give him a chance. The woman put Kanzo to the test. She wanted to know what he would be willing to do for her. Without hesitating, he replied, she, It's a love anything. story. It's not scary. Coffee, Yoko's beardo, and weirdos. Sparkled, Welcome in, Nancy. And she invited the man to reach the suspended bridge to bring her the black lotus flower. Listen in the car and work, just driving around. You may On not want to listen if I get jump scared. Kanzo set off to fulfill the woman's request. Uh, I'm sick of this sippy cup splashing me in the eye. George is awake. After discovering the tragic truth, George continued to wander in his mind. It's in English this imprisoned time. Imprisoned in the limbo of his mistakes. He was Italian. When he finally time. opened his eyes, he found himself in an unknown but familiar place. He was no longer in Danny, Laura, and Hannah's house. Something or someone had taken him elsewhere. Right. I'm sure the shadow was what was broke last time. The hit markers are still dodgy as shit. Ugh. Wasn't this sensitive last time? Right, it's just gonna play the same as part one where if you're in the dark too long your fear goes up and stuff. But we've got a light on. I've still got my flashlight. That's important. Telephone, we all know I'm not scared of the telephones ringing in games really loudly. Oh wait, what are you? Picked up a ball. Is there fishing in this game? I don't think there's fishing. That was loud. Very loud. Don't recognise him. Eee. Still got my crowbar and everything. Oh, my fear's going up. Uh, picked up parents' room key. Insert. No. I just need a valve or something. More candles. Another ball. Hey, flying through this one. 
check inventory, keep stuff from the last game. Oh, I've still got the axe and everything. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that was uncalled for. I'm a little bit early. Fucking hell. F this game already. So my husband snores on one side, dog on the other. Whoa. You tapped out for a second. You should. <laughs> Hopefully you missed that because I scared the fuck out of me. Oh. Are you inkwell? Fuck. Wait, so I don't need the tapes anymore. What? Oh, I've just wasted a save there, haven't I? Not even the last one started. The jump scares that early, Jesus Christ. I'm glad you're all enjoying yourself. I'm glad you've all jumped out of your skin. Someone is shitting their pants. Yeah, somebody is, not me. That's a butcher's room. Looks friendly. Wait, I still got power on here, am I? Yeah. Clean up. It's blocked, there's no way to open it. Preservation of the cold fridge. This door is locked. You. That was the best jump scare I've seen Beardo do. I didn't do it. I had no part in that. I had no say in it. All days are the same. Take the carcasses, cut them into pieces, put them in the cold room, wait for the customers, sell the goods, go upstairs, sleep, start again. Every fucking day, the same story. I'm tired, Christina. I need to turn this life around. You're George. Wait, I got a crowbar, haven't I? It won't let me move it. Bastard. Siren, thank you for the six months. Six months already. Yes, indeedy. Ooh, candles. Lots of candles. Take them all. Wait, I know him too. All of these, most of these guys in these pictures have been involved with Channel 13 Horror. Where's my picture? I'm on Channel 13 Horror. Sometimes. Right, um, we need a candle. It won't let me use my crowbar yet. Elsa's room locked. Kitchen locked. Get rid of the fly. What fly? <laughs> what the fuck have you been eating? <laughs> Was that supposed to be scary? See, told you I'm not scared of anything. Dean Bailey, thank you for the five pound. Beardo, it's the grudge in this game then. Plus other gas team. Don't speak to me about gas again, you, you dirty bastard. Child's room locked. Living room locked. Find and put away all the demon paintings. Mechanism. Right, so those paintings are going to unlock that drawer. Ooh, hello. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Right, so I've got one room in the downstairs. It's all that's open. <laughs> so 
Burn another ball. Ooh, key. Cold room key. That's downstairs. Back from walkies of the hound. Steel plate. Flying through this game. Wait, is there a little light switch in here? Ha! Easy. Where will you get a big enough swat? I don't know. What is this game? It's Lost Alone and we're on part two. Why is that fire lit and this one's not? And there's a dude stood there and there's not in here. Wait. This room isn't right. Uh, Christina, you and that baby are going to drive me crazy. I'm not asking you much. I just want a little order in this house. This room is always a mess. It absolutely is. I hate... Asymmetry, but you know, I hope I don't have to repeat myself again. Upon my return, I want the two rooms to be identical. Don't forget to light the fireplace for the family heirloom. I want that blue to light up both rooms. The special lighter is in the child's room. Why would you put a lighter in a kid's room? Stupid. Go say hi, Beardo. Oh, no. <laughs> no, because the second I go over there with that dude, he's going to jump out. Have you, or would you come to the United States to do an investigation? I haven't, but I will be. Um, I should be going over to work with Joe Vitale. To mirror image, you need to make the... I'm... That's what I was getting from that. Right, since 1983, a family has passed on the antique heirloom from generation to generation. The peculiarity that makes this artifact special is its ability to produce a blue flame. Legend has it this flame is a will-o'-the-wisp of the spirit of the light uh, maker. The reality is less fascinating. The presence of sulfur in flint would trigger this particular phenomenon. It's been debunked. But the fuck was that? So I've got to look for changes. Right, that was the first thing. That is wrong. That is wrong. Nailed it. Right, that's wrong. Curtains. Those books face it. Books are wrong. A picture frame's wrong. That's wrong. Wait, is that it? No. Is that? That's not right. Nailed it! Wait, I gotta close all these covered doors as well. Okay. I need a special light there. Where do I get that? Like the fireplace? I can't. I haven't got... Thank you for reading the notes, Beardo. That's okay. Is something else missing? Really? One straight. Right, the one closest to this should be... I think they just it's supposed to be hung straight, right? Like that. Yeah. Right, that's everything. It didn't do anything. Light is in the child's room. Alright, so I guess I just do that for later. Oh wait, I had a key. Key that opens the cold room, which is downstairs. Right. 
I remember anything from the last time. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Because I won't need it yet. And the inkwell is to save, so we may as well store the tapes. Right, let's go to the cold room storage. My fear is going up. Right, let's drop my fear down and then run downstairs. Just run and gun it. Fuck it. Wait. This one's easy. Not even scary. Wait. Oh, I don't have my crowbar anymore. Is this the cold story? No. I don't want to go in there. It looks horrible. The vase needs moving. The fly needs moving. Wait, wait. Oh yeah. Ooh, did he move? Books right? This book ain't right. Now the books are right. I mean, everything's right in that room. Now we just didn't do anything. Feel sorry for the fly and let it out. That fly ain't fitting out of it anyway. Don't know what he's been eating. Probably all that meat downstairs. Greedy bastard. Ooh. Bed. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Let's make another save. Wait, did I read that? Yeah. I don't think I can take the knife. The game's not that fair. Eh! Oh. <laughs> not scary. Calm down. Driving at the foot of the suspended bridge, Kanzo began to lose his hopes of love. Facing the majestic divine work, he realized that Yoko's request was impossible to fulfill. There was no way to reach the floating bridge. Thorny's only thought it does. As Kanzo's hopes were fading, a shady figure appeared. A booming voice welcomed Kanzo. Hey, Kanzo, we got the same The man stood day. petrified. Clip that. What did you clip? Nothing scared me. It's been very silly, Sierra. The shady figure introduced himself hey, as Genpaku. Steel. He presented himself as the builder of the suspended bridge, claiming to know how to procure the Black Lotus. Hey, Genpaku, fuck off. Kanzo once again said he was willing to do anything to get that flower. At that point, Genpaku revealed his true form. Genpaku was a demon of hell wandering the earth in search of amusement. That's your hell! And to feed that amusement, he gave Kanzo a very specific task.
What is this going to do with me walking around? George was a good and humble uh, person. Humble like his old job, the butcher. Wait, I've got hair now? The days in his butcher shop passed monotonously until June 20th, 1949, when on that hot summer morning, she made her entrance into his butcher shop and into his life, Christina. Kansas head isn't great. Theirs was love at F first sight. Dean. A love pure, strong and overwhelming like that narrated in books. I appreciate it, Stacey. Thank you very much. Love that turned into marriage a few months later. But love sometimes is not enough. And this is where it all goes downhill. George and Christina longed to have a child, but despite their efforts, this wish did not come true. And George fell into a deep depression. I mean, these are very American or British looking people. Oh, Piggy! Fuck's coughing. Hello. Oh, that's one of those pink tins. Take the ink. Um, can we open the drawers? Check the bin. That's locked. Numero Rossi. That's Italian for red, yeah? Oh, red numbers. Right, I need to... I need to take that. What the fuck? Let me out. Ah, oh, you son of a... There's a note. I need a note, idiot. Christina, I put an electric lock on the slaughterhouse door. I don't want our children to play in here. To unlock the opening of the door and the box on the slaughterhouse table, you have to remove the fuses following the binary order. What? First one, then two. What? Follow the alphabetical order on the sheet. It's the same as the cuts of pork you find on the... What the... Ooh, there's a foot in there. That's a human looking foot. Can I have that? Well, let me have it. Oh. I see. A is hawk, B is head. A what? One and two is bacon. What the f Right, I've got to pull the fuses out and move them. One and two is bacon. Catherine, thank you for the five pack. This game is horrible. Thank you. I'm Beard Omar, down and joined the stream before me today. Hope you're all well. We are, Catherine. Thank you very, very much. Right, bacon is C. Beacon, one and two. So they stay there. I am not understanding this puzzle. Wait, so I've got to take the fuses out of those, have I? And put them in. There was a foot in the garbage. Right. <laughs> I'm so confused. 
Alright, whoa. A is Hawk. What? A Hawk. What have I done? <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> I can't do anything. Right. So I need to ignore E, A, and G. G's leg. B is head. Oh, what the fuck? Unlock the opening of the door and the box. You have to remove the fuses following the binary order. First one, then two. Follow the alphabet load on the sheet. It's the same as... What? I'm not understanding this at all. My B is head. I be his head, so I've got to take out one and then two. Piss off. She is bacon, and I've got to take out one and two. I think I'm doing this right. D is ribs. Take out one and two on ribs. Last one. E is cheek, but it said to ignore E, right? So what am I missing? Ribs. D. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it! Cheser is helping you, Bredo. I've done it! Could you have opened any goddamn. Oh! What Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help yourself, you bastard. Scare the fucking shit out of me. I was overthinking that, wasn't I? <coughs> Wait, has the stairs been blocked?
Mum has a out of my room yet. I've been here in a cry for two days. She doesn't go to eat. I'm very worried. Dad is also very sad, maybe angry, but it's not my fault. I have nothing to do with what happened. I'm sad too. What? Thanks for the clipping. Bitch, if you jump out of me in this bathtub again, I'm not going to be re responsible for my actions. Ooh, is that a crowbar? No. I don't have that. There's stuff in here, though. There's gotta be a room open somewhere, isn't it? Ooh, more candles. Oh, red numbers are... Oh. The cold room's locked. What? Why is everything locked? Hey Tuppy, thank you for the ten gifted. Thank you, Tuppy Bash. We had a red numbers. Yeah, but if I can get preserve the cold room, the cold room shuts down when there's no electricity. Turn the power back on. Yeah, but the power's up there. Oh, this game's fucking frying me already. Child's room is open. Child's room is upstairs. I can't get upstairs. Game is stupid. Is there another door in here I've missed? Chairs are shouting again. I mean, you can shout. There's a cupboard in front of the stairs. I need to go upstairs. There's gotta be someone else in you. See, everything I need to do is locked. Right, I need power on for that. But the power is upstairs. Strange phenomena, Dean. Right, what am I missing? All of these cupboards are open. Oh, what's this? You ran past the door that I haven't tried. This game is fucking crying me already. So that door I ran past it doesn't open. I don't have any keys. I 
can't open that without power. Everything's locked. The strange call in the car happened again on the way home. It's just your phone, bro. Ghosts don't use our radios. I haven't got that wheel. And they're like, yeah, the children's room is upstairs. And I can't get up there now. Is this game trying to piss me off? Everything's locked. Knob. Picked up the ground floor bathroom cabinet key. They made that a bit harder than it should have been. Nothing to do with me being an idiot. Ground floor. Oh. <laughs> Incest aside. Wait. Can I kill the fly now? Wait, give for the light. Going to pop in out the chat. I have a little fan yet that he wants to watch, but this is too much for his young eyes. Yeah. Sorry, little dude. This isn't a, a game for children. Very scary. Unscared me, though. Now the wardrobe. Who moved that then? Right, that's Elsa's room is where the light is going to be, I think. All right. Piss off, fly! <laughs> Bye. All right, calm down. Buzz off. <laughs> Staircase. Pool ball. Matches. Don't know who you are. All the candles. Oh, I don't know the code. Cannot flush the toilet. All right, what have I got now? Find the valve. Right, I need to put the pool balls down. I need to open the butcher's room. I need to get the power on to do that. Right. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's the child's room. Not Elsa's. Wait. Ha ha!
Yeah, you can fucking stay there. Staircase. Ah. Get some sanity before I go down there. Need the spray bottle for Twitch. Hey, <laughs> King Ganguly, how you doing? I've been decoding bacon. I have. Nearly didn't lose my temper with it at all. Always save Krista's office. <laughs> it is his back. <sighs> oh, Titties is back. White numbers. Who's the bunny girl? I don't know, but she's scaring the shit out of me. Which mean it's locked? Oh, you son of a. Go back up. I've got a code for something. That wasn't there just now. Huh? Wait, it's got a fly on it. That's the code for the fly room. Somebody remember that? Nine seven four five one six two eight three. I've forgotten it already. Nine seven four five one six. Nine seven four five one six two eight three. Ha <laughs> I got another stupid plate and a basement key. I gotta go all the way back to the basement. You are fucking joking. <laughs> Fuck off! Well, this game can fucking suck my ass. I don't need that now either. No, oh, no, 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 no. Why is my fear up so much already? It's fucking brutal, this shit. Right, basement key. Can I save again? Save. Nope, I don't got any ink. What a knob. Wait, did I open you lot? <sighs> Fuck you, bunny girl.
Fuck off. This game can suck my ass. Oh, we can take that leg. Q examine, it won't let me pick it up. It's not letting me pick that up. Why? Hey, Big Ben, thank you for the five. <laughs> Off for the squeaking. Much better. Oh, there's a light. There's a door. Of course it's locked. Right, if I've got to read this, it won't let me pick it up. It's glitched. What have I got to do now? Find the valve, put the demon paint in, light the blue flame, find the lighter, find the combination blue numbers. If I can't pick that up, does that mean I can't progress? The you piece of shit game. Dad scares me more and more. The other day Alberto came to our house. Whenever Dad sees him, he gets angry and goes to his private room. I don't know why Alberto infuriates him so much. Maybe he reminds him of someone. However, I don't think Alberto will come back to visit us again. Mummy got very angry when she discovered the puzzle man. Excuse me? Puzzle man means stopping your missus. Wait, are any of these photos for upstairs? I need to check these photos, don't I? Paintings even. Is there one down here? No. I appreciate you, Ben. Oh! Oh. 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 Fucking prick of a game. What even was that? Oh wait, the power's on. I can go and do the butcher room now, right? Doodle, have you got them red numbers, Freddy? Beardo making ban thunder even in game. Don't know what you mean. One five seven nine two three. Oh, there you go. One five seven nine two three. Hey. One five seven nine two three. Bollocks! I fucked it up already. One. Oh my god, fuck off. It's lighting you, why is he getting scared? 
fucking idiot. I didn't click seven. All that meat makes you fancy a kebab. Not with all these flies buzzing around. A ripper fart in a plastic chair. Should he do what Dean did last night, the dirty bastard? One. Five. Seven. Nine. Two. Three. Six. Four. Eight. Got the key. Take the matches. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Out, 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 before something jumps. Oh, yeah! Prick. Kitchen key. Elsa, is this the kitchen? Please have a light switch, please have a light switch. <laughs> I'll we'll put my hands in the sink, better unclog the pipes. Ooh, what are you? We've got an extra thigh, just for shits and giggles, you know? I can't open any of this. Why am I collecting body parts? Looks like a pick pissed off Rick Grimes. His beer's getting greed by the minute with every scare. I think so. 814629. I'm fucking not remembering that. Where was that? Back in the butcher's room. To build a body. Why? I'd want to build a body. There's enough of them fucking walking around in here when they shouldn't be. Q button's breaking. Right, get in here quick because he starts to. Oh, <laughs> fuck off, you can't. Oh, yeah. No. You lot laughing at? I bet you jumped as well. I nearly said the bad word, Doodle. I stopped myself.
<laughs> you fuck, I thought you were going to jump scare me. Key that opens the living room door. Another fucking puzzle. Ooh, crowbar. That I need. Get off. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's Lee's stupid box! <laughs> Ooh, pool table. Right, we know what that's for. Christina, how could you... Do this to me. You could do this to your husband. I who gave you everything. I found Alberto's letter. Now I understand why everyone in the town looks at me. Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I can't hear them all laughing behind my back? They called me the horned pig man. No one believes that's my son. Nobody. And why should I believe it myself? Christina, Christina, Christina. What a big disappointment you are. No longer yours, George. George, you may want to uh, calm down a little, you know. Ooh, I need you. Right, so I've got to find another postcard. What is the point in that? Um, pool balls. Right, I'll put you in the bag. I'm still missing quite a few, ain't I? Warehouse key. Warehouse is back in the basement, right? But I don't want to go down there. The titty bunny's there. Can I save again now? Thank you. I sit down here somewhere is... Oh, you fucking... I think I've got your legs. I need more balls. <coughs> Is it eyeballs? Ew. More balls! I can turn the power back on now. <laughs> you bastard of a game. Wait, I've got a key for this now, am I? That's what I came down here for! Kanzo asked anxiously what task he had to perform for the demon. 
without showing any mercy, we Genpaku haven't found said, bunny girl is. a life for a life. I think all these you must bring me the heart of together. someone who loves you to gain the heart of someone you will love. Kanzo walked home pondering the demon's words. Then suddenly everything became clear. When we finish part three of this, we're going to have to put all the jump scare clips into one big long jump scare The only video. person who had truly loved him was his mother. Wrong body, Beardo. That very evening, with a heavy oh, heart, Kanzo decided parts. to make his sacrifice. Okay. The next day, Kanzo returned to the foot that of the suspension tasty. bridge before Genpaku. The demon took the bloody heart in his hands, then said, Well done, Kanzo. You have proven yourself worthy of great decisions. You made the right Noodle. choice. You do that. Kanzo knew he wouldn't deceive the demon, and he also knew he could never kill his own mother. But in a desperate attempt, he handed the demon the heart of his beloved Yoko instead of his mother's. At that point, Genpaku revealed that Yoko too was a demon and theirs was nothing but a test. Hey, more titties! Kanzo was one of them. Your soul will be suspended, and in due time you too will be a demon. Mary loves George. The demon of purgatory. You will Mary, spend eternity you deciding who deserves a second chance. With that, Genpaku vanished forever. Kanzo peacefully concluded his life, dying at the age of 114. His earthly life ended on June 14, 1647. 114? But his soul remained suspended for eternity, becoming the demon of purgatory. I was right. It was just the wrong kid. Rawr. Rawr. Christina's office key, another pool ball. Matches. Something behind me, something behind me, something behind me. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. More ink. Ooh, what are you? Fuck them guys. Private room, not allowed in there. Thank you, Dai. Oh. I wonder if this game has ever actually killed someone because... It's enough to make somebody soil themselves, fair play. Fucking <laughs> scare me, idiot. Somebody's gonna get me for that. No? 
Christina's office. Uh huh. Metal plates. That was really loud. More ink. A pelvis. That's locked. Private room key. So I've got to go back down there. I've also got to go back upstairs. Put the pool balls down. It nearly ended me beard up. I mean, if, it's, if this is scaring Doodle, fair enough. Hey, Mythos, how are we doing, my friend? I can't believe George actually did it. This is definitely a nightmare. It can't be reality. I write this letter as a testimony. If I disappear, I want George Teleselva to rot in prison. My husband killed Alberto, all for jealousy. He always suspected that her son was the result of an affair with Alberto. George never believed me. Now I'm afraid he will harm me and my little baby as well. I got a funny feeling. I'm collecting George's body parts. Ooh, painting. Another secret room. Okay, so I've got another painting. And I've got more pool balls. How many discs have I got in the bag to put in Christina's office? Another two. Right, if I take them. There's another bag downstairs. This is confusing. <coughs> ting, ting. Could really have chucked those cards as well, couldn't I? Oh, there's a bag there. What a knobhead. Do I need this axe? I've got two of them. I keep the limbs. Because I'm sure I'm gonna have to get rid of them in this basement. <laughs> you scary. Where's that secret room? Rito, you need the valve out of the desk. <coughs> yeah, the other cupboard was locked. Elsa's room key. Yeah. Hey! Ah, oh, missing some. Are you a man or a woman? I'm not judging. Whispers, call my knobhead, usually works. Me, you don't, you need to take the valve out of the desk. I'll go back to the desk. Christina, do you take me for a fool? Do you think I don't know what you, that you've come to snoop in my private room? You cried so much for Alberto's passing and here he is, you have found it. I never understood why that bastard kept visiting us after what happened with Elsa, then everything became self-evident. The bastard was always around the house, now it literally is, Christina. When you read this letter, it'll be too late for you. No longer yours, George. George got some serious problems going on, you know? I think that dude moved. Oh, well, I fucked that, didn't I? Uh, valve key back upstairs. Big scary blur. Christine. There is no valve. Wait, wait. You 
should have the desk key already. I do not. Elsa's room key. Right. It's going to be an Elsa's room then, isn't it? No worries, Joe. Have yourself a fantastic day, whatever it is you're doing. They're all locked. I'm going to stop putting more candles out. Oh, my carrot is going to get beat out. He's a little bitch. Ooh, grandma. Red eyes you got. Lay off the weed, Grandma. Elsa's room. It's been a week since some gentleman came to get Elsa. Mum was very vague about where they took her. I hope you come back soon. I miss my little sister. Dad is getting weirder and weirder. There's something different about him. His eyes are dull. He still doesn't speak to me. I'm more and more worried. That's handy. Put ball. How to shoot shark with a moustache? Is that poster breathing at me? Look under the bed. You should have the desk here. I don't have a desk key. Where was I supposed to get the desk key from? Oh, there. Another pool ball. Oh, there's a pool ball. How many other cupboards have I forgotten about with planks of wood on them? Right, two more pool balls. Did you put it in the bag? I don't think so. I haven't put any keys in the bag. No, only music, tapes, and postcards. I got an arm and a disc. There's got to be another cupboard I haven't opened. Missed it somewhere along the way. Oh. Way. What did I just pick up? An arm. So can I not do it now? Very close, there, I? I gotta go back through every cupboard. This game is beyond freaky.
desk key. Ugh. Oh, hello. Haha, <laughs> you didn't get me. Hey, a jump scare didn't get me. I rule at this game. Right, I've got a head and an arm and a desk key. Save. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you. I'll, I'll take them. And I think I've got more. It's so loud. Desk key. Valve. It's another save point. Smashing it. Where was the valve? Valve was the other side of the house, right? One jump. <laughs> No need for that. Absolutely no fucking need. <gasps> that was really uncalled for. Was there a scare? Are you too much? <laughs> no! Scared nothing! I see that because I don't want to go through these scares again. Fuck that! and run. That was a lot of work just to unblock a fucking sink. It's a bit much. <sighs> Bastard corner I walk around and fucking jump ski. Stupid. Ugh. 
Hey, took my candle out of the kitchen. Briefcase key. I love this. I've played this already, and I know when you go in to shit yourself. I haven't seen a briefcase. Child's room. I haven't gone in child the child's room, have I? I've gone in Elsa's room. This is Elsa's room, not a child's room. Wait. That's the child's room. Hey, Callie. The pool ball in the head and the arm in the basement. Typical Sunday. Right, one more ball. Head and arm basement, right. Do I save it? Yeah, fuck it. Oh wait, have I got things for in here as well? Guess not. Let's get to the basement. Now oh, look, it's the big scary dude again. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> you fucking prick! I'll teach me for fucking mocking him one. Oh, you! I'm glad you're dead. That was mean. <laughs> Maybe I should stop mocking the dead people. Fuck me. Oh. Alright, so we've put Alberto back together. That should open it. Gives me another painting. Very nice. And a shitload of candles. And a shitload of save spaces. Hey, you stay there. Ooh, puzzle. Behold! I'm smart as fuck. Top two, bottom. Top two, bottom. <laughs> Jesus fucking... This is those discs in the wall. Top two. Bottom. Top two. Bottom. Top. Left. Bottom. Top right. Cool. Right. What's this for? Briefcase. Paint in. 
What else have I got to do? Waiting for her to jump me again, then. Please. Top E, thank you for the 10 gifted, my friend. I've got any more of them. Thank you, Top E. Spelt red room wrong, idiots. Oh, this is the last one. Right. Child's room key. Another disc. Let's go to the child's room first. Which is there? the last pool ball another disc I'm gonna die stand up you fucking knobhead he's not standing up yeah. I got a light there Scared to turn around because every time I pick someone up, this noteworthy in this game, someone jumps out on me. My baby, mommy loves you so much. When you find this letter, if you find it, I will be gone, but not by my will. You're still too young to understand, but one day everything will be clearer to you. If you are reading these words, please run away. Since Elsa left, your father is no longer himself. It could hurt you all, and I won't be there to defend you anymore. Your mum hasn't abandoned you. This evening, October the 12th, 1972, I will try to contact someone to help us. You'll only read these words in case something goes wrong. I like the blue flame. But you said something else I needed in here, didn't I? Who the fuck? Hello? Nothing there. Right, so I've got the lighter for that room. And one more disc. I don't think that's everything I need. Hey, Teddy Bunny! Hey, at least she didn't jump scare me this time. She just strut in past. Wait, is that cartoon Ed George? It is! Did Channel 13 have something to do with the making of this game? Because all the guys from Channel 13 are in this game. That's cool. Right, Tilly Lady's gone. Pool room, pool room, pool room. Last ball should open up that cabinet. Give me some cool shit. You love the decor of this game. I don't love that this game is causing its own decor in my pants. What's that? Small key that opens a shelf in the child's room. 
I didn't see a shelf in the child's room. Anyone else see a shelf in the child's room? Wait. Is it this shelf? Hey, Colt. Oh. Dead cold, good afternoon to you. I do apologize for the shouting, swearing, and screaming. This game is making me want to poo. And I've just read that in one Annalise's voice. Help. It's a bit late for that. You are dead. Oh, that cabinet, is it? Steel plate. Candles, candles, candles. Matches, candles. Flying through it! Where am I going? Family heirloom. Which is... Wrong... Fuck off. The red drum room. Am I missing something? Right, my fear is too high. Am I missing something in there? Or is that unlocked next door? Chase the right way. Deer the right way. Books the right way. Curtains the right way. Check your objectives. Find the combination of oh, steel plates. Steel plates. Krista's office. Put the steel plates in. I don't think I've got them all. <laughs> Shit, I'm still missing one. Find the combination for the f of toll free numbers. Right, I'm missing one of them. Old man Gabe, thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Have a great stream. Behind you, run. Thanks. Um, find the combination toll free numbers. Find and replace the steel plate. I'm missing a plate. Right, let's save this. Yeah, F you.
Look for the false postcard. Never wait. Oh, do I need that? I've read that. Did that give me a clue where the postcard was? Look for the fourth postcard. Yeah, but I... Wait, have I got the fourth postcard? Is it in the bag? Oh, bollocks. That ain't freaky at all. Not yet. What's not yet? Right, I'm at a loss here. I'm missing a disc. I'm sure I checked the sink. Checking here. I'll take those candles up. I'm sure I checked the sink. I'll double check it, but I thought I did. Yeah, I did. I knew I did. Oh, well, we're in yet. These will scrounge everything that's laying about. Beedo, you need to go back to the fire pit room and look in the mirror. So I thought something hadn't triggered in there. Oh wait, it's only... He was over here, wasn't he? Oh shit. Love your vi videos, Beardo. I appreciate it, Scott. Thank you very much. So I went back in the fire pit room and I looked in the mirror. Why did nothing happen? I assumed something was supposed to happen. Something in the room is wrong. Ugh. I was an expert decorator. Right, the chair is right. The mirror is right. The jug. <coughs> Curtains are right. Books are right. That's right. That's right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. Oh, is that what I've just heard click behind me? I just didn't look up.
Something clicked behind me. Did I just not look up? What the fuck? Fear's gonna go up again. That was some moist drippage by the side of me. You have to be at the mirror and looking in it and the numbers will appear if it's right. I don't understand what's wrong with it. Okay, in front. That's right. Ah, oh, give up, you. The books. The books are wrong, are they? I can't turn the light back on because the power's gone and the fuse books, fuse board is locked. I don't have a key for it. The books. Where are you going? The books are the only thing that can be. Four nine one two seven three eight five six. Have you got that doodle? Two nine one. No, I got that wrong straight away. Hey, Steve Lacey. I forgot already. 491273. 8, Right, that's the last coin for that desk now, right? Save it. Top two. Bottom. Top two, bottom. Top left, bottom right. Fuck! Shit. Top two and bottom. Top two, bottom. Top left. Bottom, top right. Top two, bottom. Top two on the second. Bottom on the third. Fucking stupid bastard. Fuck. 
fucking thing. <laughs> top two, bottom. Top three, bottom. Top, bottom on the first. Top. I fucking... Top and then bottom on the first. Right. Second. Top and bottom on the first. Top two on the second. Bottom on the third. Then top two third, bottom second. I'm gonna lose my fucking shit for this. What the fuck does T2... <laughs> T2D1? What? Top and bottom on the... Well, you, this isn't making any fucking sense. Top two, bottom... Right, there you go. Top two, bottom on the first. Top three... On the second... There is no top three. There's only fucking two there. All three on the first one. Right, yeah. Top, top two on the second. On top two in the second. Top one. Yeah, but which one? I don't understand what you're saying top three. Oh, this is just fucking carnage. Look at the sweet parade instructions. Where's... What? Sweet parade instructions? What are you on about? Where's that? is one two C one B three C two C three A one A two A three B1 B2 C1 B3 C2 C3 What?
go to the basement and look again. You can fuck off, no. Dickhead. Top two, bottom. Top three, bottom. That's what I just fucking did. Hey, Tuppy, thank you for the 50. $50. Tuppy, thank you so much. I'm stressed out of my mind right now. That one, 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 that one. Ha ha! Jesus Christ! And there's his wife. It's not hard. I beg to fucking differ. That was an absolute ball ache. In 1970, every parent's nightmare came true. While Elsa was playing hide and seek with her brother, the girl hid in the refrigeration cell. That's what she said. Fuck off. The electronic door which prevented the cold from escaping got stuck during a power blackout. Elsa, unable to ask for help, was found by her brother when it was already too late. From that moment on, First try, George easy. changed forever and blamed the death of his daughter on the boy. <laughs> Christina did everything to protect her son, but the night she planned to escape, George burst into her room. I was listening to you, Yelling lot. at his wife and accusing her of infidelity, Christina tried to defend herself against the accusations. But George, at that moment, had no ears to hear and no heart to understand. The woman begged the man to stop. But George didn't stop. Brandishing his axe, he attacked his love. Helplessly witnessing the, the murder of his mother that happened too, before his eyes, it. something snapped in the boy's head. It was easy. As George looked at Christina's dismembered body, the child grabbed the axe that George used to chop wood and plunged it into his father's back, killing him. When the police and social workers arrived at the scene, well, they were faced with a horrifying sight. The social workers decided to entrust the child to the only the living 50. relative. I'm sure I just did that, Elsa, didn't I? The paternal grandmother. Thank you for the 50. The Sorry boy was I buried under a thousand feelings that. of guilt, but two of these stood out above all. That of being a murderer like his father and sharing his baptismal name, George. Just making sure. I knew it, ready. I just crashed after all of that. Oh. He grows up into the bald guy. I was behind on the live. That's why nothing made sense. <laughs> what? We haven't finished? Oh, how have we not finished? Wait, 
Take it, I just gotta get to the front door, examine the body. Oh, yeah. Happy family, Jesus. This game is dark. The child was me. Cooper, thank you for the gifted. Thank you. Rambo in it. I mean, yeah, I've been Rambo in it. Did you get all the postcards? Yes. nothing else on the body is it so I'm the bald guy from the first game he was the child right child is the bald guy from the first game that's how we links now I've got to get to the front door to get out right No, he didn't. She didn't fall apart. She got hatcheted apart. Hey, let's visit. How are we doing? I wonder if I can take all them into the next game. That'd be epic. George faced his memories of his terrible childhood. His journey was about to end with memories of his adolescence. Gee, this guy's life. Holy shit. At the tender age of 10, George encountered love suffocating love wrong love all done we got part three of love that no child should ever know elsa loved george she loved george in a way no child should ever be loved three, i think obviously we got a premiere tonight so i don't want to but do this all of the it. little one could not yet understand I'd find another game for next raised week. in rejection Switch. elsa's morbid attachment was synonymous with acceptance a symbol of attachment that somehow prevented George from escaping that house. Elsa's abuses were stopped by Alzheimer's. This the semblance guy. of love dispensed by Elsa was completely replaced by unreasonable Don't anger. Do it. And George's attachment to his grandmother forced him to take care of the old woman. Memory losses, bursts of anger, and moments of panic were made lighter by Susan. Susan was a medical student who, to pay for her studies, agreed to take care of Elsa, moving into the house. Yeah, fuck that shot, it was hard enough as it is. The music is interstellar. Oh, that's me getting another copyright. Today, Susan arrived. The girl will help me take care of Grandma. I didn't expect her to be so young and pretty. She's about two to three old years older than me. She took this job because she needs to pay for her medical studies. I hope Grandma will be good to her. The last patient came to help us disappeared into thin air, but I can understand her. It's not easy to take care of Grandma in an illness. It's hard for me too. I can't leave, George. Well, that's somebody else has ended up just getting snuffed in it. Ooh, I like it. I got bull crap. Easy. I 
Did I keep all my candles? I did. The thing. Evil Dead. Poltergeist. I love this room. I want to live here. Hello. The fuck is the point in that? Light switch, light switch. What's this? Pick up executant two. What's that? Pick up seed. Stay away from the light, Carol. And Passing by the hallway, I was stunned. Standing with her back turned and facing the large main window, there was my grandmother, Elsa. A toilet paper will come in on. Not a day older had she become. Just as unchanged was her dreadful character. Without giving me a chance to reply, she immediately entrusted me with tasks to complete. Planting seeds in the greenhouse, putting the fish back in the aquarium, Tidying up her tailor's dummy, preparing broth for her dinner, preparing her medication, and finally, sorting out her jukebox. Closing the door behind her, she emphasized the fact that Susan had abandoned me and that I should take care of the house. Your grandma killed Susan. Just saying. Oh my god, look at this list of stuff to do. I need that. And I need that. And I need that. What the fuck? <laughs> Who'd put that on their wall? No! 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 Fucking rickrolled by a game. Or was that me rickrolling you? We'll go with that. Bag with a fish. Uh -huh. More titties. More titties. Right, Got to keep Grandma's room. Aquarium is locked. Room of Sins is locked. Corridor is locked. Oh. Imagine getting rickrolled by a game. What a con. Right, I'll put a candle in you because the power is going to go out. I'm sure of it. Grandma, you best have your titties away. light switch is 
there are more fishies. It's a free gas bedroom. Mechanism is blocking. Corridor key. George, the doctor advised me to write down as many things as possible. This should help with my illness. He says I should keep my brain active. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can only rely on you. I need you to help me out. I didn't play Backstreet Boys. That's, is that... Unfortunately, I'm not rely on you. I need you to help me out. You have a series of tasks to do. You need to take care of this house in my place. This mess makes me nervous. You always leave everything lying around. I'm tired of hearing you say it's not you spreading things around the house, and who should it be? It's just the two of us here. Get a move on, George. Elsa. Wait. My inventory's gonna be nearly full, right? So what's the puzzle in here if that's locked? What have I got a key for? Corridor, which is back downstairs. Doesn't jump scare me for at least 20 minutes. What's that? I need something to put in there. This is the corridor. I don't want to go in there. Hell room? Fuck, stay out of there. Sewing room? That sounds friendly. Aquarium key. Will you lot stop singing Backstreet Boys? Nobody likes him. Postcard 8. I'll be back to tapes to save. Alright, save it. Today is the first day in this house. Miss Elsa alternates moments of lucidity with mo moments of total confusion. I didn't know she had a nephew around my age. She seems like a nice guy. I'm sure we'll get along well in the coming months. Susan? Susan? <laughs> Sorry, Susan. You people never heard of WD-40. Jesus Christ. Wait, why am I wasting candles? It's still got power. Mannequin leg, no inventory space. I haven't seen any bags yet. What the fuck is this supposed to be?
<laughs> nice marrow. Son of a bitch! Why is it a flying carrot? Something's unlocked, right? Any ladies back? <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, why have you left your bolt cutters, you fucking moron? Oh, there's a bag. Right. Um. Right, examine the postcards. So I'll just put these in for now. Only taking up one slot with all four of them. Aquarium, so keep the fishies, and we'll examine the postcards. Hold the guys. Chain door. Use the blue flame to unreal unveil the unknown. Thanks. I have no idea what the fuck you're on about. But thanks. Right, I need a blue flame. In that weird corridor. By the poltergeist poster. And in the bathroom in the corner. Clipped. Thanks. This place is even bigger than the last time around. And I don't like it. Or at least we got lights. And an evil jukebox. Never touching that again. Where's the aquarium? Where's the aquarium? Right, I need a blue flame for there. That's locked. Nobody keeps an aquarium in the bathroom. Where's the aquarium in Grandma's room? No, I got fishies in there. Downstairs. Aquarium. Room of Paradise. That sounds nice. Greenhouse. Living room. Aquarium! Living room key. I've got a zucchini. Wait, I can't put the fish in. Second corridor. Living room. Who the fuck's living room? I knew that. These guys got funny ideas of what living rooms are. You Pokeball Satanic shit. 
Am I making lunch as well? Oh yeah, I gotta make a broth. Right, I'm putting some candles out already. Keypad. More fishies. You can put the fish in the second tank. There's already fish in there. Strange game. Right, that's all the fish he's got. Let's do that. And walk you? No. It's been more than a week now, George. Spent a lot of time together. We have a lot of common interests. We like the same movies, same music. But every time I ask questions about his past, he immediately becomes gloomy and changes the subject. I don't know what he went through, but apparently it's a taboo topic for him. If he lives with his grandma, he must have lost his parents in a bad accident. <laughs> it wasn't an accident. I won't bring up the subject again until he talks to me about it. Suzanne! Need to find a goblet for that. I need one more fish. Where do I find more fish? Blanket! Purgatory. Greenhouse. Paradise. Sin. Hey! Where's Purgatory? One of these? Hell. Like switch. So in. Exit. Purgatory. What in the fuck are you? Entering the room hey, called Purgatory, I found myself face to face with a strange being. Seated in front of a large desk, it welcomed me as if it were the most natural thing in the world. It said its name was Kanzo, and that it was a demon, the demon of Purgatory. His strange speech continued, talking to me about my fate. His words immediately brought me back to reality. He reminded me that I took my own life after the discovery of Laura's body. He said that my journey was coming to an end, and that he and other demons had to make an important decision about my fate. He explained that we were in a non-place. The appearance was that of the house where I had grown up with my grandmother. But just like my childhood, the demons were reliving with me the traumas that had defined my life. Then concluding his speech, he said he had been a human in a distant time. He spoke to me about Yoko, his unrequited love, and how he, like me, was tested by the demons. Bunny girl! Yoko is bunny girl! With the usual nonchalance taken for granted, he said that to please him, I would have to bring him the heart of this Yoko. 
find your own yoga, you pervert. Why are the random folks streamers? Ah, it won't let me go round. <coughs> Excuse me. You used to play those songs. Um, back to the fishing. Oh, no bed. house is so big. I don't like it. Right, find the fish food. There's the fish food. Fishy, 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 fishy. Sewing room key. Second corridor. Sewing room was this way. Put the veg on the bench, on the kitchen. I forgot where the kitchen is. He don't want veg. He's a carnival. Hello. Entry space. Bollocks and shit. Oh, the bottles go there. Alpha, I know you don't like my methods. <clears throat> We've known each other for a long time, you have to trust me. Alzheimer's can be kept under control, mental exercises, and medication. For your medication, you need to mix the excipients in the correct order. Try your best. Elsa, it's important. Exhibit 57. Yeah, we'll worry about that in a bit. Right, I've got to go collect some mannequin parts. I need them. June 29th, 1982. Time in this house goes quite fast, thanks to George, of course. Despite being three years younger than me, I feel a very strong connection with him. In less than a month of his birthday, I want to give him a nice present. The joy, life, joy I feel with George cannot be shared with Elsa. I know and understand her illness perfectly, but there's something dark in that woman. Even in moments in lucidity, there's a nasty side to her. When she's confused and rambles, she becomes violent. Put the veg on the bench. Which bench? This bench? Camp of edge there. Oh, you fuck off! Fuck. There's no backpacks in here. Copper, Cooper, even. 
This one arrived at this house, Grandma always recites this poem to me. I can't get it out of my head, it terrifies me. I hope that by writing on this paper and closing it here, it can also leave a mind. Call me in the dead of night, don't you dare give me a fright. I'm never going to give you up. As I watch you sleep, my sweet dreams corrupt. Take on me. Time after time. The other songs on the jukebox. Oh look, there's a bag there. Grandma's plant pots, but I haven't found the garden yet. Put the zucchini in there. Right, I don't need them in this level either. Die yet? Axe, you can defend yourself if you run out of ammo. What? Ammo. Fuck off. Take it. Okay. Nothing else in this kitchen. Oh, what have we got up here? Right, exit, don't need that, don't need him. Another seed I just picked up. You keep shouting for the veg on the bench. I haven't seen a bench to put it on. That's a table. There's no way to put veg on you. Put the veg on the bench. What fucking bench? Where's the fucking kitchen? This isn't a kitchen. This isn't a kitchen, but I've got a bus to go there. Right, that's not. It's not a bench! It's a worktop!
fucking bench. That's not a bench. Ooh, hello. What are you doing? Pivot, are you sniffing me? That didn't unlock anything. Hey Stevie, how are we doing? I thought that would have unlocked something. Newcastle. I'm from Wales and we call her a worktop. A kitchen worktop. Go into the shop and you say, can I have a bench please? They'll be like, no, go to the bench shop. evil a bench is something you sit on yeah In the UK, it is 20 to 5. By the way, it was greyed out, which is where you put the stuff you were passing several times. It's a fucking bench. A bench you sit on is just a seat. No, it's a bench. A seat is anything, whether it's a sofa, a chair, a bench. You'll stick your ass on your kitchen cabinets, do you? Fix the jukebox. I gotta remember all them songs. I don't know anybody that calls. Nah. You're on your own, Nate. Postcard five. Oh shit, 
Where was the notes for the jukebox? Shut up. I'm gonna have pen and paper for this shit. <clears throat> it is a scavenger hunt with added jump scares and it's fucking awful. Hey, Crow Judas, how are we doing? Right, excipient 57 contains the first ingredient, but it should not be added first. What the fuck are you on about, game? Excipient 39 contains the ingredient that should be added after 87. What? Jupiter first sound contains the first ingredient, but it should not be added first. Jupiter 64 contains the ingredient that must be added just before 13. 13 does not contain... I've got a picture on my phone, and it still doesn't make no fucking sense. So 57 is second. So it's 64. 64 is first. Sixty-four contains ingredient must be added just before thirteen. I haven't got the fuck. I haven't got the energy for this shit. Shut up. Shipping two. Wait. This doesn't make any sense. Excipient 64 as an ingredient that must be added just before 13. But if you put it in before 13... What? After... Si but 64... What? 02 has got to go in after 64. What? Fucking get in there. 2 can go in there as well. Sixty-four. Where did you get? Fine. Sixty-four. Thirteen. Two. Fifty-seven. 
Eighty-seven thirty-nine. You dickhead, stop it. Give me medicine for grandma's room. All my candles are gone. See that. Back in the kitchen. I don't know where I'm going. This level sucks. Thank you, Doodle. Titty bunny. <coughs> oh, you... I thought you were going to come up over the floor, not run across the screen at me. You jumped as well. Chairs to the rescue again. Doodle carries me in every game. Kitchen. Oh, greenhouse. Is it greenhouse first or kitchen? I mean, if I've got seeds, I can. Oh, potato. Potato! Oh my god, how many seeds do they need? Right, that's gotta go in the kitchen, that's gotta go in the kitchen. She says it's on strike. She can't. I can't finish the game if she goes on strike. Don't be selfish, doodle. Oh, fucking! Oh, you better fuck right off, you bastard. Good night. Hey, it's Jam Gamer! This is all the people for Channel 13. Has this all got to go in a certain order as well? Fuck it. How can you make the wrong broth? Just throw it all in, boil the shit out of it. Easy. What is it with the sound? Have it all the way down and it doesn't help at all.
Chairs are snagging uh, Legos and going home. She's not. I almost went through a whole bottle of gummy bear vape beer. Why? Jukebox. Let me go to the jukebox. That's the kitchen. you sleep what never gonna give you up as I watch you sleep my sweet all right What's that supposed to be then? Wake me up. Right. A nightmare you can't ignore. That, that's none of these. Apart from smelly poo poo head beard up. This puzzle makes no sense. Not. Call me in the dead of night, which is obviously call me. But don't you dare give me a fright. Wait, have I got to hit these just to get the right songs at the, at the right time? Because that's fucking ridiculous. Where does I'll rip your soul apart come into it? Wake me up. But then you'll be gone. Lost my world of horror. A nightmare you can't. This makes no fucking sense. I'm done with this today. My brain is just completely fucking mushed now. Getting leads up to that. Really? Hey, bad cat, how are you doing? I was like four when these songs came out. Call me, don't you? 
Never gonna give you up. Sweet dreams. Take on me. Time after time. Total eclipse of the heart. What if that's not all the songs? Um... I have been playing this for four hours. My brain is just... Oh, wait. Some of it was highlighted in red, wasn't it? Where was that note? now highlighted in red what a dickhead I'm making that way too difficult on myself It did something. I don't know what it did. Oh, is that open to in grandma's room? Oh, black cat and bad cat. I do apologize. I only said one of you. I'm sorry. Right, so that's the jukebox done. Find put the mannequin pieces in tail and pay the broth. Bring the goblet to. Wait, was that a goblet in there? I don't think it is. It's the medicine, right? Oh, I'm gonna the broth. I'm gonna look to the broth. Inside the jukebox. Oh, it's a mannequin. Oh, bastard! <laughs> Back off, Bonnie! Back to Swansea. Beardo, go to the kitchen and look at the puzzle you did with the women with the veg, and that's the hint for the broth. I should stick to Fortnite because I'm far too thick for this. Into <coughs> I've got 
got a mannequin hand as well. Where the fuck do I put a mannequin hand? I keep losing my bearings in this. Gotta be up this way, right? No! Not up this way. Kitchen's up here. Mannequin's up here. Got anything that I need to take out? No. Carrot. What's that purple one? Red cabbage. Why have red and green carrots? Right. Carrot. Fuck off. Carrot. Red cabbage, green cabbage. And then we'll do potato. Ah! Put the broth on the fire and wait until it's ready. What fire? Do you mean there? It's not a fire, it's a cooker, idiot. Hey, I did some of it myself. Zucchini. What the hell rolls in a zucchini? Oh, hello. Legs 11. You want to do an experiment with a cheap camera if it works, then ghost investigations in stereo vision. What? Bring the groth. Hey! I'm sorry, <laughs> but no. <sighs> you can dance however you want. You're wearing a big bunny head. You ain't looking good for anyone. Pick up Yoko's heart. I need that. 
En Yoko, John Lennon had enough view, let's feed you to a demon. Oh! I think grandma's awake. <laughs> Mary loves dick. <laughs> Thanks for the membership. <laughs> The strange smirk painted on Konzo's face seemed to widen. Satisfied with my work, he said my path towards the final judgment could proceed. Wishing me good luck, he unlocked the mysterious door of the cabinet in his room. Now it was time to meet the demon of hell. I particularly want to go in there, you know? I mean, it's called a fucking hell room. BDSM, buddy. I mean, this game has been weird from the off for that. Oh, Did I pick up another body part? What is it? Bunny loves a carrot. Fucking hell. Bunny needs to stop it. Paradise. See, paradise is where I want to go. Preferably without the bunny chick. Wait, did I just get a lap dance from a furry? I gotta go into the bathroom where that bunny was. I don't trust that bunny. Seems friendly. Praising my work with Kanzo, the demon of hell welcomed me and said his name was Genpaku. Now it was time to please another demon. I felt like I was being treated like a puppet, and Genpaku didn't deny my complaints. To them, I was a small pawn on a very large chessboard. A chessboard populated by immortal beings who took pleasure in moving the pieces at their discretion. I put grandma's soup in a room. Then, changing the subject, Genpaku explained to me that even the demons had to follow very precise rules. There were well-defined hierarchies that could be climbed, 
and Yoko, the demon of sins, wanted to advance. To put Genpaku in a difficult position, Yoko had stolen his Book of Souls, and apparently, it was my task to retrieve it. He said that in the cabinet behind me, I would find the necessary tools to go to the Demon of Sins. This was his absurd request to please him, and I had no other choice. The encounter with Yoko, the demon of sins, unfolded exactly as I expected. Proud, narcissistic, and hedonistic, Yoko particularly relished the deaths, deceptions, and addictions that were part of my life. Then, without getting lost in further unnecessary chatter, he went straight to the heart of the matter. He knew perfectly well that I was sent by Genpaku to retrieve the Book of Souls, and like all demons, he proposed to be pleased as a bargaining chip for the book. Cruel kids would like this. Cruel kids would shit their pants. He told me about when he tested Kanzo with the request for the Black Lotus Flower, and bidding me farewell, gave me the same task. To retrieve that flower. Unlocking another small cabinet for me, he said I could proceed with the tools retrieved inside. Locks for Lee. Hashtag locks for Lee. They're all twitch things. Second corridor key. Dining room cabinet key. Good day, titties. Got another seed that I can put in. I don't need to do the flowers yet. Right, so what have I got? Key for a cabinet in the dining room. Key that opens the second corridor. Why did you just sound wet? Stop it! Nah, I'm going a bit. Fuck that. You know that's bad for you, right? Really bad for you. you do. This is dining room. This is the dining room. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, you lot laughed before, it didn't scare me. Jules and I have decided to be together. It is a cliche to get together on Valentine's Day, probably, but I don't care. One day is as good as any other because every second spent with George is special. His presence is the only thing that keeps me tied to this house. Taking care of Elsa is difficult, and even though George has come of age, I don't understand what keeps me, him tied to this woman. Elsa is bad, she is evil. It has nothing to do with her illness. The other day, she kicked open the door to my room. Besides the violent gesture, it was two in the morning and I was sleeping at a heart attack. I bet you didn't. She stood there staring at me in the dark while I tried to compose myself. After almost two minutes of silence and no response to my request for an explanation, she exclaimed, A rabbit. That's what you remind me of. A helpless bunny. I'm starting to get scared. Ooh. Who is whispering at me? Stop it. It's rude. I just put the crowbar down, didn't I? Did I just put the crowbar down? My backpack. Let's hear it again. It's my bag. You can steal the. Let's ditch these. Where am I going? Not that way. Not that way. Second corridor. I've lost second corridor. Let's go fish room. All that to walk around in a circle. What a piece of shit. This game sucks. Um, hello? Um. Gotta be bunny. This game is getting weirder. Oh! You fucking prick! Find the red gem. Oh, you prick, I've just put the red gem down, haven't I? I have. You can stay in there talking to yourself, you crazy bitch.
the red. Where's the hit marker for this? Oh my god, I need... How long is this last level? I'm not going to be able to finish this tonight. I got a premiere in like an hour and a half and I haven't eaten. I have to get to the tape plate and then I'm going to have to end it there. Wait for Miss Skeet to get home. Get some food. The whispering is more than freaky. I hate it. No fucking need. I thought there was a tape recorder here. What? I forgot about Bunny Lady in the bathroom. Did she leave something in there? something to do up here. Something to do with the... Uh, that. Combine with candle. Oh, pokeballs. Shit, 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 shit. I run off the prep, it's 2 a.m. Yeah, I gotta eat and stuff. I wait for the wife to get home before I, um, I gotta eat with the wife. Right. I did the soup. Let's go find that tape player, save my game. Before anything else fucking nearly kills me. <laughs> That's not right in Reynolds. Right, so, um, yeah, hour and a half, we've got a premiere for my 30 East Drive investigation. I'll be glad to see the back of this game. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> this game has actually scared the shit out of me. And it's rickrolled me. What a horrible, horrible, nasty game. Doodle, thank you so much for your help today. And to the others that have tried to help me with those two puzzles that uh my brain won't play in. None of it. Um appreciate you all for being here. Um we'll be premiering in an hour and a half. I uh after me is Ghosts on Trent. I don't think the Ouija brothers have got one tonight because they did one Friday. So come back and watch me in an hour and a half, then we'll watch Ghosts on Trent. And uh, I think it's an early night on a Sunday for us. It's a creepy game. It's more than a creepy game. I wonder how many clips has they of Doodle and CRL got, do you reckon? Uh, yeah, the game is on Steam. Yeah, I quit. You quit every day, Doodle. You can't quit. You're fired. So for everyone that has suffered through all those jump scares, you can get a rar. Rawr. Rawr.
Much love to you all. We'll see you in an hour and a half. Be it out. Out. Thirty clips, you maniac. Mary loves Dick. Mary loves Dick. <laughs>